Hello everybody, Bugsy again, making another video that's going to actually come out tomorrow, but I just felt like I needed to say it. Well, <sighs> Jesse Pajamas had me thinking the other night. I was like, okay, okay, like, what, what, would, what, what would you do to fix the Sonic timeline? I don't think it needs a hard reboot. I feel like it needs a soft reboot. Like, the cl we need to rearrange the classic games. I mean, some freaking CD can actually fit inside of it. We need to, we need to, we need to keep Sonic to either one world. We need to have, like, either a Mobius kind of world where there's humans and anamorphic creatures. Or just have Sonic have a Mobius type world where there's nothing but anamorphic creatures. Number two. Number two, I feel like I feel like um, I feel like if we if we just if we just could just get if we could just get like a very decent story and I understand a lot of you don't play Sonic for the deep story I get it but you know the some of us who read the comic we see Sonic's potential and we I felt like. I felt like, even though I liked the story in some aspects, I feel like it got squandered in others. Like Sonic being tortured in Sonic Forces for one thing. Sonic should be like, like Eggman should like, like I always said, Eggman should like boast the fact that his greatest enemy is being tortured, he's being broken, you know. Eggman. Okay. Eggman's little thing should be like this. It should definitely, totally be like this. Like, like we, like, like Eggman should be a little bit more. Eggman should have been a little bit more sadistic. Like, he he would show people like, see everybody. Here is your hero, Sonic the Hedgehog. Look at him now. And I think maybe in the new comic they'll actually address this. Like, Sonic actually probably getting a little bit more of, like, some panic attacks, some PTSD, you know? Some stuff like that. Like, Eggman constantly showing, you know, I've won, people. Your hero is no more. It's actually gonna be... That part is actually gonna be in my, uh... Be in my little story that I'm still working on. And you can really see that in the second chapter when uh, my character, when Bugsy the Hedgehog's out and about. The first chapter is almost done. I'm going to do it in in an audiobook kind of style, so it's easier, it's faster, you can get out to a lot more people that way. But uh, basically, but basically, Eggman should be boasting and stuff. And I just feel like the the story is just squandered. And I feel like, I feel like the people who wrote the English version of the story was like, you know, since it is Graph and Pontac, I feel like they don't really know how to write seriously. I mean, they're more, they're more goofy goofy. You know, they're more, they're more goofy writers that would be, that would feel more at home at teen, in Teen Titans Go. You know. I feel like we need. I feel like in the next Sonic game, we need, we need Ian, we need Ian Flynn to at least help some of these writers and be like, look, these people want a story. Let's give them, let's give them a story. And I don't care how many of you say, oh, Sonic doesn't need a deep story and blah 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 blah. I've said it numerous numerous times. But I feel like Sonic could benefit from a serious story. An actual story that doesn't pull any punches, that is serious, but does have its lighter moments, and knows how to balance between the two. That's what you guys need to do. That's what Sonic Team needs to do. You know? And we need to make the game... We, need to make, we should make a little bit of the Game Gear games kind of canon in some way. You know, like, th thing, 
And let's bring back, let's get Team Hooligan in this. If we're gonna, if we're gonna, if we're gonna really get a remaster of Sonic Heroes, let's have a, let's get a new story. Let's say if you defeat the, like, let's say if you get the main, if you beat the main story in Sonic Heroes, like the one with Metal Sonic, let's say a new one opens up with Team Hooligan and your custom characters. Something that's more focused on your characters, because they keep saying that your custom characters will be imported into uh, the into the Sonic Heroes remaster, which I I would love, but you know if it doesn't happen, I'm not really gonna lose sleep over it. And even if um, Sonic Hero the uh, Sonic Heroes, even if the Sonic Heroes remaster doesn't happen, I'll be still pretty excited about whatever they do with Sonic. I just feel like, you know, Forces was a good lesson in, like, Forces was a good lesson to teach people what to do and what not to do. Forces, you know, Forces was a good lesson on making, making these games longer, making these games a little bit longer, and just trying to make them a little bit more memorable. Because the only thing I really liked about liked about Sonic Forces when I really think about it was the Avatar stuff. Because, you know, I fulfilled the childhood dream of mine. Which was being being on an adventure with Sonic. And that's what made me that's like that at the end, like when I did the review, that's what I kept thinking about, and that's the thing that kinda made me teary eyed a little bit. Because I was like, I helped Sonic. I I helped Sonic, and you know I've wrote, I've written so many stories with Bugsy the Hedgehog and and Sonic, but that moment where Sonic and your character kind of runs off in the opposite directions, it just felt like I did that. Me. I did that. That makes you it makes you have like a warm fuzzy feeling inside. Like there are things that Sonic Forces does well, but they don't execute them right. And I'm not saying that Sonic Forces is bad, I'm not saying that I'm not saying that it was bad because really the whole the whole avatar system, I don't care what anybody says, was a good idea. Y'all can dispute that with me in the comments all you want, but in, at the end of the day, I feel like that's the most memorable part of Sonic Forces. I guess you could say Infinite is too, but eh, he just kind of is kind of like Broly in a way. And we don't need a villain. We don't need a Broly-like villain in a Sonic game. I feel like I feel like if. I feel like I feel like Sonic should have like a reverse like a reverse flash like like a villain that like a character that's like Sonic but he's kind of like the he's kind of like a reverse flash. I mean, kind of like Scourge but not like Scourge but having um Eobarthon's story where where he kind of where you know, if you if you know the story of Reverse Flash, something something kind of akin to that. You know, something that would kind of work, something that would kind of work with that, you know what I mean? And the gameplay, uh, as much as I love the boost mechanic, I feel like the boost mechanic was way overused in this. And I feel like we could do better with it. Like, people keep saying, let's have an open world Sonic game. I'm just saying, I'm saying, I am saying, Sig, I am saying, I'm saying Sega of America and Sega of Japan. Why don't we do that? Why don't you guys do that? Sonic Team, come on. Why don't you guys do that? I mean, I know it would be a lot of work, but I'm telling you, if it's a game with a lot of replay value and a lot of places to explore, people will love it. I mean, I'm not saying still everything from Mario Super Mario Odyssey. I'm just saying... Like maybe try to make your make an open world Sonic game and see where that goes. 
you know? Like, a truly open world Sonic game. Not, like, just the hub thing. Make every... Make every Sonic level just something bigger and ex something more explorative and stuff like that. You know, and secrets and stuff like that. And maybe... Or maybe... And this is something that I want to kind of... This is something that I kind of want to illustrate. Probably... Let's explain... Okay, since we've been doing all these different Sonic games, how will we actually explain how Sonic came to be? You know? How will we how will we actually explain that? Like Sonic's origin, Eggman's origin. That would be that would be the best thing to do at this point. Instead of going forward, we go back. We go back to the very beginning, back to where, back to where Sonic was Sonic, and back to where Eggman was Eggman, and we actually get to understand why Sonic and Eggman are the way they are. I feel like stuff like that would work, you know. And if you want to add Tangled to the next Sonic game, if it's new, cool, but. I'm just saying, guys, we need... You guys have writers of the Sonic comic that came back to do the comic. You got good writers. And we got and we got a bunch of talented, talented people that made Sonic Utopia and Green Hill Paradise. And you guys need to get them under your employ, because if you do, you can, you can see what they did. I mean, you know... Freaking Christian Whitehead and Taxman did a pretty good job. I mean, Christian Whitehead and the other dude did a pretty good job. So I'm saying, you know, let's try, just try to get some new blood on the one of the 3D titles and see what they can do. Because trust me, you will be surprised on what they can do. Um, now, I'm not trying to say that you guys... I'm not trying to say that Sonic Sonic Team needs to go back to the drawing board and we need to have something exactly like Adventure. Because at this point, I just don't really care. I love the Adventure games, but do I think we need to do I think we need a three a third one? No. I'm I'm totally like against it actually. I, it would be nice if that happened, but I'm not gonna fucking sit here and go. We need Advent Sonic Adventure Three, Sonic Adventure Three, Sonic Adventure Three. Well, we could get Bugs the Adventure 2. <laughs> uh, sorry, that's like a running joke with me and my friends. But, uh, anyways, like, the thing is, the thing is, I just feel like we need to take Sonic in a different direction and probably limit the boosting a little bit, you know? Like, make the boosting a part, like, like, um,. I don't know, make the boosting more about Sonic's momentum when he runs and stuff. Like, let him build up momentum, like, when he's running, let's have him have, like, let him charge, like, when he's running, he charges up his speed, and then he chooses whether to use it or not, like, he charges it up while he's running. And then, when it's all full, you have the option of letting it go or just keeping it until you actually need it. Giving you the option to actually just explore this gigantic Sonic world. You know, I've been thinking about an MMO. I've been thinking about an MMO for like the longest time. I don't know. I think an MMO would be a good change of pace for Sonic, and some people kind of want to, kind of want one because they saw the potential of Fantasy Star Online, and they think, hmm, a Sonic MMO could be good. But I'm thinking more along the lines of an open world Sonic game where Sonic can go anywhere, go to any level, you know, kind of have the same kind of versatility as Breath of the Wild. I feel like that would work over than what we've been doing, what you guys have been doing in the past. I feel like that would be a better, that would be a better, that would be a better shot. And, you know... I feel like that would be better than just a 
I feel like that would be better than just you know pushing you know pushing out the next Sonic game and not doing what you're supposed to do. There's a lot of cut things from Sonic Forces which I wish could have made it into the game. But um it is what it is. So yeah. Those are what I would like to change uh for Sonic for the Sonic franchise going forward. And also, if if I may, get T Lopes and freaking June Sanoi. Get T Lopes and June Sanoi to basically do the next soundtrack. Because that shit would be that shit would be amazing. Having these two, having these two dudes work on the soundtrack. Oh my god! And don't even get me wrong. I still love Fist Bump. I still love Infinite's thing. I still love the ending theme, the Sonic Forces, like it's a fucking anime. I I loved all of that. Like everybody said, the thing is cringy. I'm like, motherfucker, I love that shit. That shit makes me. Th that shit is some good shit. And if you don't think it's good shit, well, I can't stop you. But it's some good shit. Some good shit right there. But anyways, that's all I really have to say about Sonic going forward. Uh, tune, tune in, because when you see this, it'll probably be like at 7 o'clock in the morning when I, when I schedule this baby in. And, uh, like, tune in for like an hour, like an hour... Like a few hours after that, because then I'll talk about the Sonic movie. I heard it got, ch I heard the script got changed, and I'm a little bit worried. So there, I'm done. I'm done with that. Sorry about all these talks, but I feel like I need to do a few videos where I'm just talking, and it's just me without any, without any yellow balls, and without any, without any, without my uh, compadre with me, the yellow ball of perversion. And everybody else. So I just felt like I'd just do this as myself. So, yeah. <clears throat> but, you know, I just wanted to tell you guys that. And Sonic Team, please. Please. You are listening to the fans with the whole... With the whole Avatar system. Because I think the Avatar... Also, I think the Avatar system can be implemented in other Sonic games. And I think I'll do a part two about that. If anybody's willing to listen and not just hate on me because I'm talking about using the avatars. Just, that's all I'm trying to say. Bugsy, Bugsy out. Bugsy out.